tumble into an inverted flat spin. Welcome home, brother. Thank you. It's a great way for all of us to say thank you, especially to this group. This is a group that, for the most part, never did get a whole lot of thanks when they came back. It was the welcome home we never got. When Bruce Muller returned from Vietnam 50 years ago, he was told to take off his military uniform. And put my civilian clothes on and go home. Bruce says that cold reception has been overshadowed by the very warm welcome he and his comrades received Friday at Air Venture. They were part of an honor flight to Washington, D.C. to see their war memorial. To see all these people walking to us home is truly unbelievable. After getting off the plane, veterans retreated to a concert. Gary Sinise and the Lieutenant Dan Band played. The honor flight is one way EAA strives to put the military in the spotlight. This is an opportunity to put our U.S. military front and center and to say thank you. And, and again, this is a group that deserves a lot of thanks. Of course, there's the military aircraft featured, both past and present. And in Warbird Alley, there's something called the Warbird Living History Camp. It's set up just like a World War II camp in Italy. And the veterans come through with their with their families, their kids, and their grandkids, and they go, this is this is what I slept in, this is what I had, this is what I used, so it's, it's really nice. Organizers say admiring the aircraft and equipment the veterans used is fine, but it's more important to remember the men and women who used that equipment to serve this country. It's very important to EAA and, and to me as a historian that we keep history alive and, and teach the proper history to our children. And back on the flight line, Muller and his fellow veterans were happy to see their history being honored. There aren't enough words to express what I felt and what we all felt. It was truly a wonderful day. In Oshkosh, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. DNR says it looks like the multiple moose sightings are likely just one moose on the move. Wildlife Supervisor John Huff says this is a rare occurrence. It's unusual to see moose almost anywhere in Wisconsin. Toronto gets a few every few years, and moose will show up around that area. Photographer Mike Moon and I had never seen a moose in the wild before, so we immediately asked where it's been spotted. Recently, it's been up uh, near Shawano Lake. And to Shawano Lake we went, driving all around the lake looking for the elusive beast. We tried playing the waiting game. See anything yet? Nothing. Then we tried going on the move, thinking technology would help us out. So I googled loose moose, and this is where the map brought us. Okay, that is not what I meant. Asking some jet skiers seemed like a good idea. Hey, have you guys seen a moose? We did find some moose tracks. Still not quite what we were looking for, but um, mm, delicious nonetheless. Our last stop, the so-called moose yard, but nothing. Huff says if you're lucky enough to see a moose, which we unfortunately were not, make sure you get a picture of it. Take a picture and uh, keep it for a memory. In Shawano County, Alex Ronaldo, Fox 11 News. Amid the buzz of airplanes, polka music rings out from the corner of Knapp and Vern. This is Jerry's one-man band. It's safe to say he's an icon here. It would be like not having airplanes here without Jerry here. He's our Brett Favre of EAA. Jerry Slager is so well-known, visitors use his stand as a landmark on the AirVenture grounds. Well, if you go to the one-man band at Jerry's and then you turn left, that's where I'll be. So how did Slager get here? 29 years ago, Paul Poporezidi heard me at a flea market got me here and I'm here since. For all those years, he's played polka favorites on this contraption he built. Seven keyboards, which are connected to the accordion, operate some with the foot pedals, left hand operates the piano and tuba. What made you get into this? Gotta be nuts a little bit. Sliger says he's nuts, fans would disagree. He's fantastic. Slager almost quit the band last year due to arthritis, but he made it for one more year. And now, I tried it and it works. Okay. But I know this is the end. When you tell fans this is Slager's last year, the disappointment is obvious. He's an amazing, talented man, and 
Um, if he's going to have to go, we would be sorry to see him leave. I guess all good things have to come to an end sooner or later. It just seems like it comes too soon. For Sliger, the feeling is mutual. Oh, the people, just the trams come by and they hoot and holler and they just, I'm going to miss that. Ann Oshkosh, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News.